Sagittarius, this reading will be for you. I hope you all are doing amazing. Sending you all love and light. This reading will be general and will not resonate with all of you. Please take a resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Sagittarius or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below where you can find more information about joining in the description box. You can also find information about private readings there. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you are interested in collective readings. All right, so. Sagittarius. So we have Justice. Libra Energy. We have the Ace of Wands. The sun, Leo energy. The nine of swords. Clarify justice. The five of wands. Clarify the ace of wands. The king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Clarify the sun. The six of pentacles. And the Nine of Swords clarified by the Three of Cups. All right. So somebody's got this renewed spark or passion or motivation to take action to do something here. Um, I do feel like either someone thinks that something can turn around in a positive direction with equal give and take, with compromise, with balance, or it has come to light that someone someone was being given something um somebody is stressed out with a third party or they're stressed out about a reconciliation we have the lovers on the back of the deck gemini energy and we have the five of swords yeah there's like i feel like conflict about a decision to come in with a offer here yeah a, an offer of a relationship commitment yeah long-term commitment five of maybe somebody is regretful that they didn't take action or take a leap of faith on something that they actually had a lot of love for um, they, they may be extended an opportunity to the past or somebody from the past, or they decided to just stay, um, in their comfort zone. Okay. Um, what is justice in the five of wands? We have the queen of cups. So they are fight. Somebody is fighting with somebody. Okay. I don't know. Someone's having some type of conflict or fight with somebody. Um, they could be fighting in court with somebody. Um, some type of truth has maybe been revealed. The truth has been revealed and it's causing conflict. Tell me more about it. But this truth need, needed to be revealed so that things could come into balance. So that things could, you know, they could be where they needed to be. That person could be where they needed to be. Whatever you needed to be, you know, things like that. So we have temperance. What about temperance and judgment? So somebody wants to reckon. What's that do with the five of wands though? The nine of cups. Fighting over what? The six of wands? I hope this isn't somebody that's trying to fight with this person because they think that they're about to try to reconcile. Okay, let's see. Tell me more. The Eight of Swords. Somebody's stressed about because they feel like they're being ignored or they're being overlooked or somebody's acting nonchalant with them. Okay, tell me more. So we have the Seven of Wands and we have the Star. Someone's trying to block somebody from getting something that they want or getting or healing so yeah i feel like so what are, what they're trying to block them in what way the moon pisces energy and the two of swords like kind of confusing things causing chaos and confusion illusions trying to keep them from seeing something let's see tell me more this is messy already already messy It's like someone's trying to instigate here. Start a fight. The fool. What about the fool? The four of wands. Okay. Or the in the four of pentacles. In the knight of pentacles. It's moving slowly to do what? To apologize. Somebody's moving very slowly to apologize about something. Okay. So where does Sash fit into this? We have the king of cups. So somebody. Okay. Um, the tower. Somebody's having an awakening to their feelings and emotions for you. Yeah, someone's like kind of having a tower moment and it, either it's a water sign or 
This is somebody that's realizing, having an awakening about their feelings and emotions. Tell me more about it. The Queen of Pentacles. What about the Queen of Pentacles? And the Five of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. Something's changing quickly here. What's changing quickly? This person is like realizing their feelings for you. And they're leaving, they're abandoning a situation. It looks like a person that was either, I told you, somebody was, did you guys find out that they were dealing with somebody that was giving them money or helping them out in some way? It's like, they're realizing, they're having this tower moment. They're realizing that they love you. They're abandoning this person. They're either, they're ghosting this person. Guys, I don't even think that they're leaving this person in the right way. They're like going silent on them. They're ghosting them. They're pulling back their energy completely for them. And it's like, they're, they're fighting with this person or this person's trying to fight with them. Because this person has just completely abruptly changed, switched up on them. I think I just saw 555 five, five on the camera. It's like, this, this per what's making this person have this awakening though? Something is changing very quickly. And that's why whoever this other person is that was helping them out is like, wait, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Like, why are you switching up on me? Why are you acting nonchalant? Why are you ignoring me now? So they're like ghosting somebody. Or like, what in the world? Um, what was I just asking? Oh, what is triggering this person to take this, have this quick change? The Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay. Okay. And the High Priestess. Okay. And I'm telling you, this person is, someone is like silently walking away from something here ghosting somebody just stop stop they're not answering them anymore or so or they just like they left while that person like if they live with this person they left while this person was at work or something like that guys it's crazy that they like they kind of snuck away from this person or they're about to i honestly don't feel that they were that invested in this person anyways it's it's really not gonna be that hard so why were they with them then the Knight of Swords, okay, and the Queen of Swords. They maybe made some type of impulsive decision. You know what? You know what happened here is I feel that like they quickly went into something with this person because I think that you guys cut this person off. There was an ending between this person's codependent. They don't know how to be single. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, you guys could have cut this person off. Yeah, Six of Cups. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. They had to like return to a situation to realize where their love really lied or something like that. I don't know. So let's see. They maybe still had, thought they had feelings for this person or I don't know. Or they were just trying, they were just, you know, holding on to what was comfortable. So they're ghosting this person or they just left this person in the night or something like that. What happened here? We have the Six of Wands, okay? And we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. What about the Queen of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles, okay? And the Page of Wands. Uh, What's up to it, Sag? The tower, I'm telling you, they're having a tower moment over you. Scorpio energy and the eight of wands leading to some type of quick communication or quick action being taken to do what? The three of pentacles. One, how can we work this out? Can we meet in the middle? Can we compromise? Yeah, judgment, wanting another chance. But what about this right here though? The nine of pentacles and the page of wands. They may, be, they may tell you that they're single from this person now. They're no longer a family with them or they no longer live with them, that they've successfully... It's been taking them forever and a lifetime to do this, it looks like, to successfully walk away from something or whatever, free themselves from it, find their independence. They may even tell you that they're not even really with this person. But see, I don't like the moon coming out. Pisces energy, what about the moon? The magician and the seven of pentacles. They're, they like were telling you that they were single or like they didn't, or they may tell you that they're single or that they're not with that person. But Spirit says they're like secretly still investing in a situation. Why? Or somebody's still investing in it. Yeah, the ace of money. I don't know, guys. It's money. Ten of wands because they have a lot of bills or responsibilities or whatever. Debt. Yeah, knight of, king of swords. The three of wands. The eight of pentacles. Working on what? 
they're like work trying to work on their finances i feel like working on what or they feel like they got to work a lot to improve their finances the emperor maybe they're trying to just level up as a person but why is the seven of swords here the high priestess there were secrets there were things being kept secret for sure the seven of cups options illusions yeah the chariot and the ten of pentacles death I don't know, guys. I would beware with the Seven of Cups, the Death card, and the Ten of Pentacles. Them telling you that they've ended something with somebody. Have they ended it or not? Nah? Have they ended it or not? <laughs> I don't know. I just see conflict there. They could either be conflicted about ending this or they're still like, they may have ended it with this person, but they're still like in a lot of internal conflict over the situation. If it's not that, they're fighting with this person, which I do see that. I see that they're fighting with them. Tell me about the Five of Swords. The three of swords. No, this person's hurt over whatever happened between them and this person. They need to heal. Yeah, I think they they have broken up with this person. But yeah, they're ignoring that person. Four of cups. Mm-hmm. It's like they're ignoring them. Like that person may still be trying to fight with them or reaching out to them or trying to make something right with them. And they're like ignoring it. It's like this person doesn't want you to know that they got somebody that's like won't leave them the hell alone. There's somebody that won't like stop messaging them or trying to get a hold of them. Like they got a, a crazy ass person around them. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. We have the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. What about the Ace of Swords? And the Knight of Swords. I don't know. I think you will hear from this person. But just know that it's like they haven't, it's like, I don't know, This it's something weird about this. This person hasn't 100% cut this person off. It's like they're not speaking to them. They're definitely ignoring this person. It's driving this person that they're dealing with crazy. They're acting crazy. They're, they're ignoring them. They're not answering their messages. They're, they're talking to you while this person is blowing up their inbox. And it's actually stressing them out. I don't even know. It's like they don't want to completely cut that person off yet. Because it's probably like they don't want to lose. But what, why are they not completely cutting that person off? They're just watching this person message them and call them and shit. The Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Hmm. And the Temperance and the Eight of Swords. What are they worried about? The Ace of Cups. Okay. What about the Ace of Cups? This person likes to have a backup person. This person does have love for you. But I think this person is worried that maybe, what are they worried about here? The lovers and the world. The page, they want to know something. They want to know if you're single or the, if you have another person. Yeah, the nine of cups. I don't know. It's like they're trying to hold on to you and somebody else. But it's like they're putting this other person on the back burner. They're, like, they're moving you up to the front burner and putting this person on the back burner. And they probably have put you on the back burner before and moved that person up to the front burner. This is messy. I don't like this at all, guys. Like, I literally see somebody, like, calling their phone over and over again. Messaging them over and over again. Them not saying anything. Ignoring that person. Ghosted them. Moved out while they were gone. Or It's just something weird left. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Because this person does know that they have love for you. But what's the problem? Because I don't, it's not coming through clearly. What's the problem and why they are still holding on to this crazy, this person that's losing their mind? The family. Okay, so that's why. Togetherness, happy home, family oriented and ancestry. Oh, tell me more about the family. Worth the fight. Not giving up easily, second chance and fight for it. So this is somebody that they've had a family with or something like that. So it's hard for them to... For some of you, it could be somebody in their family. Like a mom or a sister or something like that. Tell me more. Abundance. Financial. It's something to do with money and stability. Yeah. So what's that to do with Sag though? Divine time. So Spirit says, impatience, bad timing at the right time. It's not the right time for them to try to cultivate something with you so we have vacation getaway and honeymoon and break so i see you and this person being in separation for right now i do see them yeah kindness generosity showing love and romance and waiting long longing wishful expecting their return this gives me the vibe of somebody that comes in to just keep you there it's like y'all have these little short-lived like honeymoon phases or some i don't know or like 
there's one person that they have like a fan a home with they live with this person or something like or they have kids with them and it's hard for them to let it go and that there's some sense of stability there they're not happy there though and it's like they do feel like they love you but i feel like this person is like not 100 percent ready to let go of this other situation all the way this is a situation that they feel like they can shelve. Imagine that, guys. Imagine having somebody that you feel like you, it's hard for you to let them go. You have a family with them, but you feel like you can also this whoever this person is that is allowing them to treat them like this is that's that's insane because they feel like they can shelve this situation temporarily when they feel like it with this third party. So I feel like this person is trying to come in with you because they kind of feel like. They're kind of, they're going to try to come in and do like make a gesture or have a little romance with you or have a little whatever, give a little bit to this connection to keep you waiting on them. Yeah, but they, I don't think they have the intention to fully walk away from this other situation. Yeah, up in the air. Exactly. That situation is up in the air. Unresolved, unstable, undecided, unknown. They will go back to that situation. Yeah, true love though. We have pure love, deep passion, unbreakable bond. What about true love? sadness un unhappiness regret heartbreak and pessimism what does this have to do with sad fast lane see short term i'm telling you they're coming in to have a short fling with you yeah transitional short term competition quick fling okay what about it true gem so i don't know if this person just thought you were going to be a hookup at some point they maybe thought that things would be, be short-lived or they feel like you are the true gem oh goodness i mean do that They may feel like you are the true gem. Yeah, valuable, quality, real, one of a kind and catch. This person feels like this. they used to think that this person was the, their true love. But now they're very unhappy with this person or they just they don't think that way anymore. I don't know. But this person feels like they met you. They thought you were going to be a quick fling or something like that. And then you actually turned out to be like the total package, one of a kind, a catch. So now what? The real deal. Yeah, look at this total package. Nothing is missing, complete having it all. So they found you and they feel like you have everything that they want a person. So what's the problem? So they're not leaving this other situation because they're still grieving that another situation wasn't really their true love. Like they're still in denial about the fact that that other person isn't their true love. Like what is going on here? Work. It's money. Like I tell, I'm telling you guys, I think that at some point they thought that they did love this person, but now they don't think that because they met you. They maybe thought that that was their true love until they met you. Yep, we have work. Yeah, job, career change, duties, and responsibilities. That's the only reason they're there. Yeah, beauty queen. We have beautiful adorers standing out on stage. What about beauty queen? What is that? We have at first sight. I'm telling you, they, they feel like you're very attractive. They feel like you're very beautiful. They feel like you're different from anybody they've ever been with before. They were not expecting to meet you. They feel like there was like instant chemistry and attraction between the two of you when you met like it was almost like love at first sight and it made them realize that this person that they didn't plant at roots with is just it's not it yeah unconventional free spirit and harmony what about hippie vibes you know shady business dishonesty unreliable suspicious and gaslighting yeah i feel like um shopping not sold this person has been trying to like unknowingly put you in a third party situation like if you if they came towards you and they were like look do you want to be in a throuple you'd be like hell no or like do you want to be my side chick side dude you'd be like no <laughs> so i feel like um they've been trying to like pull you into this situation shade in a shady way while they've been not not sure if they want to be with you or somebody else yeah while they've been exploring what about the bride prisoner trapped stuck so they feel why do they feel stuck though web weaver because i'm telling you network productivity all connected in creation what about web weaver courtship but why is prisoner here time together wooing early stages and openness this person feels like you guys need more time to <laughs> this is ridiculous guys this person's way of thinking is stupid leave this person don't try to cultivate something with me while you still have another person. Leave that person talking about we need to try to build a we need to build a, a more of a foundation in our relationship before I leave this other situation. No. 
where you're not going to be able to build a solid foundation while they're with another person. Like, this person is, like, I don't, I was going to say something else, but. <sighs> it's like they want to spend time with you. It's like they feel like, yeah, trap stuck. What is prisoner? Clarify prisoner. Culture. See, there's something about, something about the way that you guys, eh, cultural differences, traditions, beliefs, and values. What's a good prisoner, though? Prep period. They feel they got to get on your level. Like, this person wants to be with you, but they know that they can't really be with you until they, like, because it says getting ready, adapting, putting in the work. Yeah. They're going to have to change the way that they think and the way they live and their traditions and their beliefs and their values. And they, they would have to get in alignment with you for this to work out. What about children? Sex life. Lord, what is this about? The tea. Shocking information. I hope you guys don't find out about a, um, a child. Ooh. Shocking information, reveal gossip and rumors. I don't like this. What about that? Young love, crush, new person, playful connection. What is the T? What's the shocking information? The moon, something that was hidden. What was hidden? Piece of meat that this person was only wanting casual sex. The truth of the situation, or what you found out, was that this person was never trying to have the serious relationship at this time with you that they said that they were trying to have with you. That's kind of what I'm getting. This person's too immature. Yeah, they were telling you that they wanted to be like a power... What is power couple? Sugar daddy. Gifts, wealthy person, beneficial relationship. Yeah, we have concerned. This person knows what you want. They know that you're not going to go for casual. They know that... And they're they're nervous that they can't give to you in the way that you want or something like that. This person is messy. Yeah, your messy soulmate or whatever this is. What about messy? Cat spirit. And this person likes to like be able to sleep with whoever they want to sleep with. They like to do whatever they want to do. And yeah, spirit says you guys are not sharing. Yeah, no. You're not open to sharing. Yeah, bashful, withholding, humble, reserved, and introvert. What about bashful? Like a movie. This person feels like you're too good to be true. Flirtation and seduction. Be careful. This person is in deep. What are they regretful about or haunted by? Ripped open? What? Haunted by their how much you made them feel. Toxic, bad influences, exhaustion, and unhealthy. This person is haunted by how like they feel like you are very vulnerable with them and they took advantage of you. Like they know that they took advantage of you. But yeah, we have all or nothing wrapped up, going within. All right, we're going to take this over to the extended so that we can see more of what this person's about to do because I'm not really getting a clear read on that right now. So the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. We're going to get you some guidance too. Private reading information can also be found in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the extended. Bye.